Gimme Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight is a song performed by the famous Swedish pop group ABBA. In the song, the narrator, Agnetha Falskog, talks about the life of a young woman who lives a very lonely life. Keep watching this video to find out the truth about ABBA's Gimme Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight. In 1971, Sweden became the second country in the world to decriminalize pornography after Denmark. That year, Agnetha Falls Cog married Bjorn Olvias. They were in a cavalry act with another romantically involved duo, Benny Anderson and Annie Frid Linkstead. It was called Festfolket. The name was a pun on the Swedish words for party people and engaged couples. The following year, the foursome became ABBA. Trading on their success as couples, their image was as clean as their dazzling smiles. Nonetheless, they were not untouched by Sweden's reputation for sexual permissiveness. It mostly affected the blonde false cog, an unwilling sex symbol. Her response to a 1977 concert review in an Australian newspaper lauding Agnetha's bottom as a Swedish national treasure was to groan, Oh my god, don't they have bottoms in Australia? But ABBA were not above feeding those fantasies too. The theme of sexual liberation runs through their music, from the 17-year-old teaser in Dancing Queen to the absurd schoolroom seduction played out in When I Kissed the Teacher. A journalist visiting Anderson's office in 1976 noted a life-size painting of a scantily dressed young woman, the only sign of decadence in the whole ABBA operation. What makes Gimme 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 a Man After Midnight special? Gimme Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight is the most liberated of their songs, a masterpiece of Scandinavian frankness. It was recorded in August 1979 for a North American tour. Sung by False Cog, it's about a depressed woman alone in a flat watching late night television as an autumn wind howls outside. Gimme Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight, she cries. Won't somebody help me chase the shadows away? Her gothic tale of alienation and physical frustration unfolds to the pulse of a libidinous disco beat. The disco craze was at its peak in 1979. The song's video, made by Swedish film director Lasse Hallström, shows it being recorded in Polar Studios in Stockholm, a state-of-the-art establishment that ABBA had built for themselves. The headphones that False Cog is filmed wearing are among the exhibits at the ABBA-themed Super Troopers exhibition currently showing at London's South Bank Centre. The video opens with a close-up shot of a pair of hands pushing sliders on a mixing desk, a sign of the group's adaptation to new pop technologies. Paul Strum had used a similar opening shot several years earlier in his video for ABBA's 1973 single Ring Ring, although back then, the hands were playing a jaunty tune to an old-fashioned piano. A New Gay Anthem The quartet had come a long way as musicians. They had also come a long way as individuals. At the start of 1979, Falscock and Elvius filed for divorce. Linkstead and Anderson separated the following year. In Gimme Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight, False Cog found herself in the awkward position of singing phrases about a woman's desperate urge for sex that had been written by her lyricist ex-husband, who by that point had rebounded into the arms of a new girlfriend. The dazzling smile must have ached. Yet the song has a feminist aspect too. Sung with disco diva power by False Cog, supported by Lynx did on backing vocals, it gives an unambiguous voice to female desire. Perhaps fearing the approach might be too bracing for less sexually egalitarian cultures, man was swapped for the generic term love when they recorded a Spanish version Dami 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 Amor Esta Noche. After ABBA ended in 1982, their music became a byword for cheesy pop. But Gimme Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight lived on as a gay anthem. In 1986, the synth pop duo Erasure paid tribute to it with a high energy cover version, the B side to their single Ola Moore. You didn't admit to liking ABBA at school unless you were a bit femme, so me and my friends did, their singer Andy Bell said. Facts about Gimme Gimme Gimme, A Man After Midnight. The song was co written by ABBA members Bjorn Olvius and Benny Anderson. The pair also produced it. The 2nd of October 1979 was this classic's official release date. It was a single from the band's 1979 compilation album titled Greatest Hits Volume 2. The song can also be found on another compilation album, Gold Greatest Hits. Gold was released on September 21, 1992 
and sold in excess of 30 million copies globally. Owing to this, it's one of the best-selling albums ever released. ABBA member Agnetha Falls Cog sang the lead vocals on the song. The song's initial title was Been and Gone and Done It, but for some reason, the band later changed it to its current title. This song, which is one of ABBA's most successful songs, reached number one in several countries, including Switzerland, Belgium, and France. On the UK singles charts, it peaked at number three. This classic was ABBA's biggest hit in Japan, where it peaked at number 17. The BBC television sitcom Gimme 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 was inspired by the song. In addition to that, the sitcom's theme cover is a cover of this song. The song was later recorded in Spanish and given the title Dami Dami Dami. This version was featured in ABBA's 1980 Spanish language studio album titled Gracias por la Musica. Which artists have covered Gimme Gimme Gimme? American singer and songwriter Madonna heavily sampled the song on her 2005 hit single Hung Up. Madonna reportedly personally wrote to the writers of the song Anderson and Olvias for permission to use the song. Lyrically, Madonna's Hung Up has a theme very similar to this ABBA classic. Well, that's all for the truth about ABBA's Gimme 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 A Man After Midnight. Let us know what you think of the story behind this song in the comments down below and don't forget to like the video so we can keep making more content like this.